Hi everybody, it's Wednesday. So you all know that I'm currently abroad because it's messing up our video schedule and basically making my life as a vlogger a living hell. But that is mostly due to the fact that the Wi-Fi in the house that I'm living in is awful. It's definitely not meant for 19 people to be using all at once, but I'm getting off track already. So I'm abroad and traveling around Europe until May and I've learned a few things about everything, I guess. Some people travel to learn, some people travel to see, and I'm currently doing both. I thought I'd share with you the things I've learned so far. Number one is you are so much smaller than you think you are. Don't take this as me saying that you are a small speck and completely useless because that's not it. Everything around you is big and bright and beautiful and you are just a small part of everything but a part of it nonetheless. Rain isn't romantic. It's cold and wet, and it makes your feet itchy after long periods of exposure, but it kind of also is romantic in that it leads to growth. I say let something rain on your parade once in a while. You'll learn and you grow from it. Sometimes plans are going to fall through, even important plans including hostel reservations. But if you're nice to people, there's a chance they'll be nice back and help you out. Basically, don't stress yourself out over this. Sometimes they'll even help you find new accommodations when yours with them fall through. Don't ask locals what the best touristy things to do are. They have no idea because they're locals. Don't feel bad about slowing down and taking breaks. Traveling is fun and you feel like you're gonna miss things if you stop, but stopping allows you to recoup, reassess, and regain the confidence to get back out into the world and see more. Believe me when I say that slowing down and letting your feet rest is something you will thank yourself for later. Regardless of what everyone says about millennials being addicted to technology and phones and whatever, document everything. It's not as if people haven't been using cameras for over a century on their travels, so you snapping a picture to put on your Instagram is no different than someone snapping a Polaroid a couple of decades ago to stick on their walls when they returned home. The end result is always the same. We're always trying to preserve our memories as if we're going to forget them, so don't feel bad about doing it. Sometimes people are going to grate on your patience, which is especially irritating when you're trying to enjoy a new place. I am the least capable person to be telling you to do this. And I hate the saying that patience is a virtue, but it really, really is. Take a walk away from this person, and when you get home, take a week away from them. You'll be a better person and enjoy more of wherever you are for it. Now, these are just a few things that I've picked up in the last month and a half-ish. I don't have the right or reason to tell anyone not to sweat the small stuff because I sweat it all the time, but it's always a good bit to have in the back of your head, I guess. Oh, and you should listen to the voices in your head named Intuition and Instinct because they're probably right, especially when you're in a new and unfamiliar place. People have told me to travel while I'm in college because I'll have the most opportunity for help financially, physically, geographically, etc. I think that piece of advice was true, but I won't go shouting it to the hills. I was lucky. I managed to snag an extra scholarship or two over the last year, making it possible for me to leave the country for four months. Some people don't get all of the opportunities even I've gotten, but if you do, take them. Go. Break out of your shell. Fight through the anxiety, which I know is there personally and feels very heavy, but experiencing it and getting through it is so, so worth it and get somewhere. I promise you'll regret not taking an opportunity handed to you more than you'll regret actually taking it. That's all I've got for this week. I'm sorry my videos are a little more sporadic than the Scriveners, but like I said, the Wi-Fi here is atrocious. If you like this video, please subscribe and like it down below as well as feel free to leave a comment in the comment box. We like talking to you guys so much. We're so glad that you guys enjoy our videos and our content and you want to engage in conversation with us because this is why we started the vlog channel. So yeah, see you soon. Bye.